Hey, this is Mr. Hammond, and uh, we are going to practice finding uh, the missing force. We're going to be using uh, basically two main equations uh, in this practice problem. And uh, the first one uh, is going to be that the net force is mass times acceleration. And the second one is that the net force is the applied force plus the opposed force. And so if we're looking at this situation here, we have an object of a mass of 100 kilograms acceleration of two meters per second squared we know that uh, acceleration is a vector quantity so we need a direction it's going to the right and what we have on the outside of the object are four forces that are all being applied uh, to the object we have on the left a 120 newton force and a 55 newton force and on the right we have a 25 newton force and we have a force uh, that is missing and uh, we are going to try to find uh, the missing force uh, here um, so a couple things as far as reviewing first of all the net force is what's actually happening and what's actually causing the motion so anytime you anytime you do m times a you're calculating the net force so if we have the mass and we have the acceleration of what's actually happening then we can pretty easily get the net force so we're going to do that first. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put in 100 kilograms and 2 meters per second squared and get our net force of 200 newtons. So we know that the net force on the object is going to be 200 newtons. And since the acceleration is to the right, we know that the force is going to be towards the right also. So I'm just going to put this little arrow towards the right to help us know that uh, the vector quantity of force is 200 newtons to the right. So we know this object is uh, being uh, forced in the net direction to the right with a amount of 200 uh, newtons. Once we know that, then we can pretty easily set up these uh, four different uh, forces uh, to get the net force. And uh, just a reminder that the net force is the applied force plus the opposing force. The opposing forces are going to be entered in as a negative number because the negatives are going to help us with our directionality. So these two forces, the 25 and the question mark, those are going to be the applied forces because they're the ones actually pulling it in the direction that it's traveling. The 55 and the 120, those are going to be the opposing forces because they are going against uh, the motion. So if we start filling this in, it's going to look like this. Uh, the net force we just calculated at 200 newtons. The applied force, we have two of them, uh, positive 25 newtons and positive x. We're just going to use x to find the missing force. Then we're going to put in the opposing forces, negative 120 newtons because it's going in the opposite direction of uh, the net force, and negative 55 newtons because it's also going in the opposite direction of the net force. Now we just have one variable here, and we have a, a bunch of uh, forces that we can solve for to get our net force. We combine the two opposing forces for negative 175. We subtract one, negative 175 uh, and get it onto the other side. Actually, we're going to add 175 to both sides. And we have 375 newtons equals 25 newtons plus x. We subtract 25 from each side and we know that the missing force, this force right here is going to be 350 newtons and that is going to be again to the right and so here's our final uh, diagram here uh, we have the object moving to the right and we have our missing force here at 350 uh, newtons